What's up internet? This is Hourglass Gaming and for today's video I wanted to do a quick guide to Evolve's first tier medic, Val. So like everyone else, Val has four abilities, however only one of those does damage. Your concern when you're playing Val is not to be killing the monster, it's to keep the other hunters alive. So your success as a player should be measured in how many hunters are up not in whether or not the monster is dead. And to that end, Val's sniper rifle is not her primary weapon. Even though that's the weapon that you start the game with and that's the weapon that she's always pictured with, that should not be the weapon that you're using most of the time. So when you start the game and you are tracking the monster, you're going to want to be using the tranquilizer gun. This weapon slows and marks the monster. So if you lose line of sight, you can still see the monster's silhouette. So if it climbs or goes in the bushes or rounds a corner, you can still get a sense of where it's going. And it also makes the monster slower. So if you catch up to the monster while it's running and you tranquilize it, then you can narrow the gap between you and the monster. And if you keep landing your shots, then you can get close to the monster and hopefully trap it with the mobile arena and then start the fight before the monster is ready. Also, if you start a fight, then you want to begin the fight by tranquilizing the monster because even within the confines of a mobile arena, the monster can sometimes hide. It will also slow the monster in moving from target to target. So it's a good way to start the engagement before anyone starts taking damage. Once you have the monster drugged, then you want to start examining the situation. So basically, if the monster is attacking your teammates and harming them, then you want to switch to your med gun and start healing them so that they don't go down. However, if the monster is struggling with target priority or it's been trapped by harpoon guns or something, then in that case, if it's not harming your teammates, then you're going to want to use the sniper rifle. So it's really up to your evaluation of the situation with what you think your team needs. Basically, if your team is at full health, then use the sniper rifle. And if anyone is injured in any way, then use the med gun. With the sniper rifle, any shot that connects with the monster is going to pierce its armor and highlight that point on the monster's body. And so after that, when your teammates shoot the monster, if they hit those weak points, then they get a damage bonus. So the more hits you put on the monster with the sniper rifle, the more likely it is that your teammates are gonna hit those points, and then the more likely it is that they're gonna damage it faster. So that's a way that you can help the team bring down the monster. However, if your team is harmed, then you're going to want to use the med gun to keep them up. The med gun has a range, I think, of 60 meters, um, and it's basically just if you're in line of sight, you hold it down and the person closest to the center of your reticule starts getting healed. And you can keep a pretty good pace with the amount of damage that the monster can do. So it's important that you be using the med gun as much as possible to keep your teammates up. The only thing that will break the med gun is if you lose line of sight on them. So if the monster gets between you and them, or if they go behind a rock or something, then you won't be able to help them. But the med gun's beam does curve and so it's pretty easy to keep your teammates healed. Now Val's final piece of equipment or ability is her healing burst, which heals herself and the hunters around her. I typically save this ability for myself when I'm playing Val because it's the only way to heal Val. And so because the medic is such an important hunter to keep alive, I generally use it on myself when I'm about to go down. However, it is good if you have a lot of hunters together that are all kind of injured, then if you can get them all into a condensed space and then use the healing burst to heal everyone around them. So far, the thing I've struggled the most with Val is keeping myself up. The medic is going to be the primary target of the monster, and I simply struggle with even like looking at the health bar. I think it's in a really weird position, and I haven't gotten used to looking at that spot on the screen yet. And so I kind of ignore my own health um, and then I go down and I don't realize that I was so close to dying. So I think that's definitely something that I need to work on and it's something that any hunter, particularly Val, needs to pay attention to is their own health and how close they are. And so that's gonna kind of define when you want to use the healing burst because as the medic, keeping yourself up is your first priority. Keeping the other hunters up is your second priority because if you go down then there's nobody to help the other hunters. And so you have to be up in order to keep everyone else alive. So keeping yourself up is your number one priority. 
And to that end, you want to play pretty conservatively. You don't want to be in the monster's face like the assault player. And ideally, you want to help your team from a heightened position, like up some rocks or on top of a building. If anything is available, then you want to be at a height advantage because that will allow you both to see the whole battle and to have some safety from the monster. You want to stay clear of the melee because then it's easy for you to get caught up and then you'll get eaten by the monster. So in general, just kind of when playing Val, you want to keep in mind that you are the most important person on the team and it's not actually selfish to actively work on keeping yourself alive instead of harming the monster. Like you need to stay alive and you need to be able to keep your other teammates alive. So you want to be from a safe distance, basically as far as possible as you can be while still in effective range for the med gun. And then you want to be able to keep yourself up and then you'll be able to keep your allies alive. And remember that you are not there to hurt the monster. You're there to keep everyone alive. So don't get carried away shooting the monster with the sniper rifle because that's not why you're on the team. You're there to keep everyone up. So yeah, that is about all for this class guide. I hope you find it useful. If you'd like to see more gameplay and commentary, don't forget to like and subscribe. It really helps out. But most of all, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.